And so is he sabotaging you? Is he sabotaging your relationship? I want to talk about this because it's important. And so if he comes to you and articulates dissatisfaction or comes to you with a problem that's in your relationship or anything like that, and he doesn't have a vision, he doesn't offer any solutions, he doesn't offer any ideas or has any ideas, is he sabotaging your relationship? And the answer to that question, in my opinion, is yes. Why? Because anytime that someone's experiencing dissatisfaction is because they have a vision in their head. They have an idea of in their head that things are supposed to be a certain way. And so anytime that they come to you with a problem and they're, they're not offering any solutions or ideas, they're sabotaging you because they're projecting that on you for you to come up with the solution, for you to figure out what's going on in their head instead of them articulating what it is they truly desire. And that's sabotage, and it's really unfair to the other person. So anytime that someone is presenting you with a problem, dissatisfaction in your relationship or anything like that, and they're not offering ideas or you know even a, an inkling of a, the vision that's in their head, they're sabotaging you. They're sabotaging you. And so why do I even bring this up? It's important to understand the psychology behind it because anytime that someone comes and wants to point the finger at you, like you're this and you're that, and they're not offering anything, you have to look at that. And that's projection. And don't take that on. Don't take it on because oftentimes we do take that on and we think that something is wrong with us and nothing is wrong with us. Something is amiss in them that they need to figure out. And if they're not able to communicate and articulate their vision and what they really want and desire, that's something they need to work out on, not us take on. You know what I mean? And so I wanted to share that because often we do take that on and it's not right. And we often beat ourselves up about it. And it's not about us. It really isn't. And so the last thing I'll say about it is that masculine energy is problem solving. Men like to offer solutions. They are solution oriented. That's masculine energy. And so when they're not offering solutions or ideas or even a vision, something's amiss. Something's amiss. And so you have to look at that. Masculine energy loves to solve problems.